All right, so today's video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full upper body training session. In particular, this is gonna be the third upper body session I have throughout the week. I do this typically on Fridays. And what this is, is basically a session to accumulate a little bit more volume towards each muscle in my upper body. Right now, in this session, I'm using primarily high stimulus and low fatigue movements. If I'm doing three fatiguing movements for each muscle group on three separate days of the week, it's going to impact my recovery and I'm not going to be able to keep progressing in the gym and enjoy my training session. So each movement, as you can probably tell, is going to be a little bit lower in uh, fatigue and a little bit higher in stimulus. And as you can see here, this is a cable curl that I'm working with right now. And there's nothing special about doing it on a cable versus on a barbell or dumbbells. But what I'm doing here for the most part is just getting a little bit more variation. So with this session, I'm trying to keep it relatively quick and just get in, get some volume in and get out. It's very easy to superset the cables an easy setup. And it's just a little bit more mental fatigue and just a little bit of a different variation for my joints too. So I'm not doing say a barbell curl three times a week. And then this next movement that I'm doing is an incline machine press. And the cool thing about this lift is obviously it's a supported movement from the machine. So it's very low fatigue and it's very high in stimulus. It's about a 30 degree incline, which I find to be best for uh, chest activation. I also get a really good stretch because I can set the pin pretty low to get a better stretch than I would with a barbell. So this movement, I can use a little bit less weight, get a bigger stretch on my chest and keep the overall fatigue a little bit lower. I can push these very close to failure very safely and just get an incredible stretch and just an overall great stimulus from it. So it's an awesome lift to have in my program. I'm doing that once a week on Fridays right now. And back for my second set on the cable curls. I'm only filming two sets for everything today, but I actually did three sets for each lift that, that you'll see here. And yeah, as you can see here, it's really nothing special, nothing fancy, just a cable curl. Uh, I think the biceps are coming in solid. Triceps are definitely a little bit more of a priority for me right now. I'm doing a little bit more volume. And overall, like my mindset's a little bit more there with tricep training than it is for biceps. But regardless, I'm still getting my volume, still pushing it hard, as you can tell from right here. So happy with where the biceps are at. Triceps are just a little bit more of a focus. So up next, what you're going to see is a Yates row. So with these, I do like to go pronated. This is the, the new way that I'm doing them. And I just feel the pronation a little bit more in my upper back. I go just outside shoulder width for grip, go a little bit slow with a tiny little bit of a cheat. So as you can see here, the key is just to stay pretty upright. When you stay upright like this, it takes a lot of the pressure off of your lower back, which with this session, if I was doing a standard barbell row where you're a little bit more bent over, if anything, that would just hurt my recovery because it's doing a little bit more damage to my lower back versus here, I can stay a little bit more upright, put all that tension onto my upper back. So it feels great little bit of a different angle here if you can notice anything different then great but it's just overall it's a good control you can see i'm really pulling with my elbows i'm even using straps so i don't try to pull with my arms i can almost use my hands as hooks um, and just pull with my upper back so the key here just watch my shoulders watch my shoulder blades and just see my upper back move in and move out and this is uh, something that takes a while to get down i'd say the upper back and the lats are one of the harder muscles to train but it's something that just comes with time if you focus on it up next we've got here's the jam press this is actually my first time doing it with a regular barbell i've been doing them with easy bars for the past month maybe six weeks at this point and i'm starting to kind of graduate from that so nothing crazy heavy just trying to learn the movement since it's with a different barbell it does change up the grip and that changes everything else uh, with my elbow and shoulder positioning a little bit so going a little bit lighter no need to go heavy on these right at the start you do want to get your joints used to them since the range of motion and the stretch is so extreme so as you can see not quite going down as far as my mobility would probably let me just avoid any injuries or pains or anything so easing into this no need to try and ego lift and go heavy on these um, especially right at the start so easing into them getting stronger getting better at them but this is one of my favorite lifts um, even though i'm not even that good at it yet and i could see this sticking in my program for a while this is also a classic example of like a lift if a lift doesn't feel perfect right off the bat, that's totally fine. And that's not necessarily a reason to just dump it. Sometimes it takes like two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, even more than that for certain lifts that are a little bit more technical to actually feel right. So something like the JM press, which is new to me, something like plat squats, which are new to me, they don't feel right right off the bat. One thing I'm noticing is over time, I'm keeping them in my program and they're getting better. So to anybody that is, whether you're new to lifting or adding in new lifts, 
don't just judge a lift if it works for you or not on the first day. If there's like an ache or pain or something that just doesn't feel right, then that's a different story. But if it just feels kind of awkward, it might not be the, the best idea to throw it right out of the program because sometimes you just need to learn a lift, get a little bit stronger and build your coordination and then you start to feel it a little bit more. So I think I skipped over uh, the reverse curls, but I'm, I'm sure you saw those. Uh, very straightforward. The secret with those for me is just to keep my thumbs under, work the wrist extension a little bit more, work the brachialis a little bit more. And then this is the method that I like to use for finger curls. I basically just drop the bar as low as I, I can without dropping it into my fingertips. And I almost just squeeze it up into my palm and try and grip it. So the key with these is just to push them hard. They're going to hurt and they're going to burn, but if you can stick through it, you will eventually get to muscular failure and that's the goal. The last five, 10 reps on every set are gonna hurt. Push through that and you'll be fine. But yeah, quick video, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed.